Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I am going to be doing the highly requested video. I'm going to be showing you guys my perfume collection. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on all things girly, especially videos on smelling good. If you like that type of content, don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here with me today and I appreciate all the love and the support. With that said, let's get right into today's video. All right, guys, so I thought so long and hard on how I wanted to film my perfume collection and I just kept thinking and thinking and thinking and I would never film it because of that. So I told myself, you know what? We're just going to film exactly how it is. I'm not fixing anything. I'm not organizing anything so that you guys can see what I truly do with my fragrances, how I store them, the fragrances that I own. So let's get right into it. I'm not going to be coming out on camera right now. I'm still in PJs. I'm super comfy in the house and I just wanted to film this video. So I'm gonna show you the fragrances that I have and how I store them so right now you guys are looking at my perfume tray this is where i put the fragrances that i want to focus on for the month so everything on this tray i'm going to be picking it up during the day to bed just different occasions different things just to see how each fragrance performs and if i still love them if i want to declutter them this is the way that i focus on just a few fragrances each month without getting overwhelmed with all of the fragrances that I have in my collection. Since I am moving back to the States, I would say in like 10 or nine months now because time is going by so fast, I'll be finding out where I'm going soon. So because of that, I have slowed down my perfume hauls. It's not as crazy as it used to be where I used to buy like older fragrances and fragrances that have been out for years. I stopped that because I need to get this collection like under control, keep it at a decent number. My collection kind of fluctuates. So the highest that I've ever had, I think was like 180 bottles. And right now I think I am at 150. I would like to bring it down to like 75 before I leave, which just, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do it because I can control myself for some moments. And then there's this one day where I place an order and I get three perfumes, which, happened last week. So it's just, ugh, it's frustrating. That's the way things are going. Let's see what happens with the upcoming months. Once I'm in the States, I won't be as worried about how big my collection is. I always want to keep it at a decent number. Like I don't want it to ever go past 200 bottles because it's too much, but I kind of like to use up as much as I can, empty bottles, I give to friends and family. And once I'm in the States, I can definitely open up a Mercari and sell the ones that I no longer want for like a very affordable price. So I'm definitely gonna be doing that because I can't sell them here and ship them. I can't do that where I live. So this is where I keep my fragrances. I'm going to back you guys up so you guys can see how it looks. So here is just my backdrop for my filming. And as you can see, there is a huge mess over here. <laughs> That's kind of like where I keep my body care. My filming equipment is just in this little um, drawer there. I have Victoria's Secret body care more body care down there with some Clorox wipes because I love to uh, wipe everything. So yeah, and then sometimes I have like random fragrances just sitting because I am either working on a video or thinking of an idea or something like that. So there's always a little bit of a mess over here, but this is where the fragrances are at. So that is the top of the dresser. This is a Ikea dresser. I will leave the link to the dresser in the description box. This used to be my baby's dresser. And then once we moved over here, we had to kind of rearrange the way that the house was because we only have three rooms in this house. So I ended up keeping this dresser in here for me and I gave them a smaller dresser. I do have smaller drawers here and I have bigger drawers. Those two bottom drawers are, they have like workout clothes and I have some PJs in there and then this drawer right here is all skincare. 
So this is all of my mask, all of my skincare that I have to open up. So this is where I keep all of that extra stuff. So not everything in here is perfumes. This one is a complete mess. That's like a junk drawer. And then this one just has fragrances that I need to either review or just things that I need to do videos on. So I keep a drawer for that. So you guys can see a sneak peek of what's coming. I have this one right here, which is new. I have this one. So yeah, I have a few fragrances here. So the only drawers that have perfumes are these two right here and the bottom one. And I told myself that if this bottom one got full, it was time to pump the brakes and stop buying. So that's kind of like how I control myself. So I am going to be opening the first drawer. And as you can see, this is full of fragrances. And I honestly don't have an organization for them because since I'm constantly changing out my tray i always have here are the ones that i took out from last month so these have to go back into those drawers so it's not organized it's literally just bottles of fragrances all right i have to start all over again i showed you guys this entire drawer and my camera wasn't filming so let's try this again all right so let's start going through this drawer so in here i have my juliana's perfume fragrances i have three of them in here i have inner beauty exclusive call me by your name which this is a must have fragrance this is such a beautiful fragrance i love it so so much for the gourmand lovers by the way and then this one is bad b which is supposed to be like i believe it's rouge malachi something like that but this is a really really good one and it's definitely a dupe because i did order a sample of the original one and they were so similar then we have seven virtues vanilla woods love this so much i have lancome idol intense la via belle leclat we have dior pure poison beautiful clean scent i have dior hypnotic poison i have joel malone's scarlet poppy one of my favorite fragrances. Fragrance Dubois Santal Complet. Mugler Alien Goddess, the original one. Floral Street Wonderland Peony. Imperia Fragrances Oshun 5. Prada La Femme, beautiful, classy, sophisticated, expensive, bougie type of woman. I love this fragrance. Britney Spears Private Show what a beautiful fragrance and it's so hard to find it now mark jacobs daisy oh so intense the fragrance that kind of started my addiction to fragrances and this is gucci guilty love it so so much tom ford soleil blanc shimmering body oil it's not a fragrance but i keep it in here and i pair it with my soleil blanc when i do wear it ariana grande's cloud guerlain mon guerlain intense vulgari's omnia crystalline toca julieta chance autan and this is the EDT version. And then I have Chance Au Vive. And this one is really, really nice as well. It doesn't really get talked about too much, but this one is like a little bit more fresh, spicy. Really, really nice. Ellie Saab, Girl of Now Shine. One of my favorites. Burberry Her EDT. Ellis Brooklyn Myth. Van Cleef and Arbol's Bois de Amand, the original Scandal, and Scandal a Paris, which is like a lighter version of Scandal. It has pear. It is beautiful, especially for those that don't want like the intensity of Scandal. This one's a little bit easier to wear. Juliet has a gun pear ink. This is a beautiful fragrance and I love it so much for spring and summertime. La Rive Fleur de Femme. Beautiful, affordable fragrance. I definitely want to try a few more La Rive fragrances because they're, this impressed me a lot. Orientica Amber Rouge. My favorite one from the ones that I got sent from this line. This one is a great dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540. I have Beyond, yeah, Beyond Romance really really nice raspberry fragrance start from the back this is kkw body 2 we have nest sunkissed hibiscus givenchy's irresistible givenchy's hot couture this is the edt version i saw that they came out with a new bottle for this fragrance and it looks really really nice so yeah i love this fragrance dolce and gabbana the only one and i believe this is the intense yeah this is the intense version love this fragrance if you hear sniffing 
clicking or any types of noises, I have one of my dogs here with me. Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Shine. Dolce & Gabbana L'Imperatrice. Lots of Dolce & Gabbana. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Sun. Here we have YSO Mon Paris. This is the intense version, I believe. And then here is Mon Paris, the EDT version, which is my favorite flanker personally. It works better on my skin. Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar. Oof, this is such a good one. I love this. It is a pear fragrance. It's musky. It's beautiful. And the last one in this drawer is Zara's Red Temptation. To me, this is the ultimate dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540. The longevity of this thing is insane. 10 hours plus. You could probably be like 24 hours with this fragrance. It's amazing and super, super affordable. All right, now let's move on to drawer number two. And today's just not the day to film. Now it is raining. So sorry for the background noise. Let's get through this. So here is the second drawer. I went ahead and put all of the fragrances that I had out back in here so that you guys can see all of the fragrances. So now it's filled up. So in here we have Lancome La Nuit Tresor a la Folie. Another masterpiece that has been discontinued. Then we have La Nuit Tresor Must Diamond, I believe is the name. This one, I believe it's also discontinued, but I love this bottle and I love this fragrance as well. Next up, we have Dior Fev Delicios and Dior Vanilla Diorama. Here we have Replicas Coffee Break, one of my favorites. Prada Candy Night, which I am excited to use this one around November and December because it is like a heavy chocolatey Gourmand scent, but it's really, really sexy at the same time. Pinrose Secret Genius. Ooh, Killian's Angel Share. Love this for the holidays. Must have for that. Ariana Grande's Ari. Sweet Bomb, I love it so, so much. One of the fragrances that I'm also sad about that has been discontinued, this is Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria Coconut Fizz. Beautiful coconut fragrance. Clean Reserve Skin, lovely scent as well. Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. Prada Infusion, the Amand. Burberry Her Elixir. Scandal by Night. Love this so, so much. Deep Cherry Honey Fragrance. Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy. Killian's Princess, So Scandal, Killian Rolling in Love, Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid, Kayali's Vanilla 28, Burberry Her the Original. I have a bunch of little minis from Kayali because I am going to be doing a video soon. So I have Kayali's Musk, I have Kayali Elixir, Deja Vu White Flower. We have Utopia here, love this fragrance. Hermetica's A Pear, Nirvana Bourbon, MAC Creme de Nude. And then here I have some Skylar fragrances. I have Coconut Co. I have Pink Canyon. This is a nice, almost a dupe for Max Turquatic fragrance. It gives the same vibe. And then I have Skylar Vanilla Sky. Love it so much. Another favorite for spring and summer, this is Versace Versense. Azaro's Wanted Girl. Juicy Couture Gold Couture. Philosophy's Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple. Giorgio Armani C Passione, and this is the, I believe is the intense version. C Fiori, amazing. This has also been discontinued. We have Dead Cool Taunt, Swiss Arabian Casablanca. This is C Intense, but this is the version that came out. I don't know if it was 2020 or 2019, but yeah, I really, really enjoy this one. Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Supreme. Juliet has a gun, Magnolia Bliss. Givenchy's Live Irresistible Delicios. This one's so good, but it has to be cooler weather. It's thick, it's gourmand, it's sweet. It's like a dessert or pastry or something like that. Orientica Fleur de Orientica. Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. And last but not least for this drawer is Ariana Grande's R.E.M. All right, and the last drawer is not filled up all the way, so I'm doing pretty good with that. I don't want that one to get full. So here is the third drawer. So we have a little bit of empty space over there. And little by little, I would like to kind of cut this drawer in half. If anything, I would love to just have these two filled up, but let's see how that goes. So in here, we have 
a bunch of Carolina Herrera. So the first one is Carolina Herrera's Very Good Girl Glam. This one is Good Girl Legere and Good Girl Original. Kenzo Flower Elixir beautiful beautiful fragrance only thing i hate is this long ass bottle <laughs> then we have tom ford soleil blanc givenchy's linterdeet victoria's secret bear amouage blossom love which this one i need to wear this somewhere that it is cold because this fragrance is strong it's beautiful but i can't wear it in the heat the original giorgio armani c so i wish that i could keep all of the flankers together and i try to do that but sometimes it just gets out of control because i'm constantly rotating my fragrances so that's why they're just in random places i have here a half ounce bottle of chloe edp valentino this one is donna aqua beautiful beautiful fragrance also discontinued really really makes me upset miss dior blooming bouquet victoria's secrets teas sugar fleur versace crystal noir haven't used this one in a really long time so next month this baby needs to come out and this is the edt version this is the one that i prefer guess seductive noir I said that I was going to declutter this one, but it's still here because this one was expensive. I just want to see if I like it later on during the year. I'm going to show you guys which one it is. This is Mancera's Velvet Vanilla. I hated it the first times that I wore it, but I'm hanging on to it because I want to give it a try soon. Just letting it sit there for a few months to see if it gets a little, I don't know, maybe I can pick up a little bit more of the vanilla in there because to me, this is like a bubblegum type of perfume it's very very intense if the vanilla was to shine through more then i would probably love it but right now i'm not sure about that one burberry brit i love this spicy almond perfect for fall time mark jacobs daisy love skies i really loved this collection they were just so so nice i also have the other one Marc Jacobs, Daisy Skies. So I have both of them. I prefer the Love Skies over this one, but they're both really, really nice. One of my all-time favorites, Giorgio Armani Ocean Di Gioia. Sud Pacifique, Coco Fig. Ellie Saab, Girl of Now, my all-time favorite fragrance. I love her so much. Guerlain's Limon Verde, beautiful, refreshing scent. Si Passione Eclat. This one on me is very long lasting. A lot of people said that it didn't last on them, but on me, it lasts forever. Replica's Beach Walk, Replica's Bubble Bath. Jennifer Lopez, Still. I love this fragrance so much. Dolce & Gabbana, Dolce. This was another one that I wore around the time that I also wore Gucci Guilty back in like 2016-ish. And it just has a lot of nice memories and I love it. It's not one that I reach for all the time, but it's really, really nice. Justin Bieber, The Key, one of my favorite celebrity fragrances. MAC Turquatic. Jimmy Choo's EDP. I love this one for wintertime, strictly for cold weather. Mugler's Angel Eye Star, which I have been struggling with this one. And the only reason I haven't decluttered it is because I think this was limited edition. But when I first got it, I got a lot of the coconut and pineapple. And lately I get way more of the patchouli again. So I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one. Poach Floral Blush, I think is the name of this one. I love this one. I think this one is like an underrated fragrance. It's really, really pretty and very crowd pleasing. And it's a really nice fragrance to gift to someone. And then I have Coach Dreams Sunset, which I need to play around with more. I should have added this to my tray. But yeah, this one's really, really pretty. And the dry down is very different from what I got in the opening. And I really liked the dry down. Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Days. Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Garden. Toca Simone. Ariana Grande's Thank You Next. Gucci Guilty Absolute Pour Femme. La Petite Robe Noir. I think this is the intense version. I'm going to see how this plays with my skin to determine if I'm going to keep it or not because I'm not sure about this one. Now this one I do love and this is the La Petite Robe Noir Eau Fresh. Love this one so much. Okja Fragrances here. So I have Torrid Day, Gold Gem, and Morning Rain. Clean Reserve Solar Bloom. I love this one. So good. But I got it a couple months ago and I need to start wearing it because I think this would do good during fall time as well. One of my favorites, Versace Dylan Turquoise. Black Opium, and this is the Nuit Blanche, which is my favorite flanker. La Vie Belle Intense. Then we have the original Lavia Bell, 
which I need to wear these more. I feel like I don't reach for it as much and I need to because I do love these fragrances. La Via Bell Entancement, which is the one that has raspberry and then one of my absolute favorites, La Via Bell and Rose. This was probably one, I don't know, I, I love all of them. For fall time, I have a favorite. For spring and summer, I have a favorite, but they're just beautiful, I love them. Escada Miami Blossom, I got this one not too long ago and I want to play around with it. It's still hot here, so I can definitely test this one out. Guess Seductive Red. Valentino Donna Born and Roma Yellow Dream, I love this one. I prefer this one over the original Born and Roma. I know I'm not with the popular opinion but i do prefer this one raja parfums this is reckless beautiful packaging i love it mark jacobs perfect and the last one in the drawer daisy love mark jacobs oh so sweet and here we have my tray which is what i focus on monthly so i'm just going to name them really quick here we have twitty the hermes au poivre libre le parfum yes i am by gacharin van cleef and our bowls bois d'or maison marie number four bois de balancourt alien goddess intense both poison girls so i have here the edp version and the edt version mongerlan floral jimmy chu Illicit, Maison Francis Kirk Dijon, Gentle Fluidity Gold, Prada Paradox, My Way, 724 by Maison Francis Kirk Dijon, Ayali Love Fest Burning Cherry, Hugo Boss Descent Private Accord, Moschino Toy 2, and Guerlain La Petite Robe Noir. So that is my complete perfume collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And now that I did my entire perfume collection, if you want me to break it down by designers or houses or just any type of organized way where you want me to branch off and do like collection videos but with different categories let me know and i'll do that for you guys but i think this was the quickest way where you guys can see my entire collection quickly <laughs> that is going to be it from me today i hope that you guys enjoyed this video comment down below how many fragrances do you have in your collection do you want more do you want to get rid of some how do you feel with your collection at the moment let's chit chat about that thank you so much for being here with me today give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video take care Hola